All right, so we're back again. Quarantine Central, Dungeon of Doom. This time we got a final pickups and unboxing video. Um, so let's get started. All right, so got some vinyl here from, I believe it was Big Beard, Big Beard Records. And uh, also some pickups from Reverberation Vinyl and Normal. Um, why don't we open up the Big Beard one first and uh, see what's in there. It's always a very good packing job. So let's take a look here. Big beard vinyl, that's the seller there. And we got four records in here. Nothing super special, but just some, you know, stuff I needed, stuff I didn't have. Uh, first one here is Candy O by the Cars. I don't know if you'll be able to see anything on the the record or that. The record looks like it's in decent shape. A few light scratches on it, but I don't know if you can tell that or not, but and then next we've got Silk the Silk Degrees by Boss Cags. These are just kind of the fillers. These two are the fillers that I got. Oh, this one's kind of beat. That's all right, though. I guess I think this one was a dollar. And then to the good stuff. First one here, we got Frigid Pink. is on the uh, Parrot Records. I believe this was a reissue, but not 100% sure on it. Vinyl's a little rough, but not terrible. Should be perfectly playable. And this is a real reason why I got this. is one of the few Styx albums I do not have from the early era. Man of Miracles. On the wooden, ne wooden nickel label. Covers in pretty nice shape. It's got a little bent, bent in the corners. The vinyl. Vinyl looks pretty good. A few. Appears to be a few light scratches on there, but nothing, nothing terrible. Oh, oh and he did throw in a. Uh, if I can find it here. <laughs> Random forty-five. Uh, I don't know if you can see that or not. Olivia Newton John. <laughs> oh, 
All right. And then from uh, Reverberation Vinyl, this actually he gave me for free. It's a cheap trick. Found all the parts. 10 inch. I've seen this before. I have no idea what it's about, but it's just like a four song EP. Final looks real good on this one. He had two ninety nine marked on it, but he just said I could have it. And then this one too, Blood, Sweat, and Tears. The uh, I believe this is the debut gatefold. Surprisingly, the vinyl is in pretty good shape on this one, but this is a pretty common record. And then I got Tim Berry, Laurel Street Demo, 2005, and Live at Mumford Elementary. This was $7.99. Limited edition color vinyl. Oh, look at that. That's a cool color there. Bunch of Tim Berry there actually, which is surprising because it's not really that well known. So, oh, and last one Gleaming Spires, Song of the Spires. This is in pretty good shape, too. I looked this over there, but you know, it's kind of hard to see sometimes in the stores. The Lights are pretty dim. So, this is from 1982. Well, that's all the pickups for today. So, if you have any questions or anything you want me to go over, leave it in comments below. Um, otherwise, we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.